Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. In the past, I've done many tutorials about how to extract a dynamic list. And one was how to extract a dynamic list with multiple criteria. However, that only assumes that you choose one item for each of the criteria. But what if you have multiple criteria but only choose one of those or just two of those? How do we extract a dynamic list in that case? Well, let's see how we can do that in Excel. So here's our scenario. I have on a worksheet called Movie Data a table, and the table is named Movies. And in that table, I just have some generic movies, genre, country, and director. And on another worksheet called Dashboard, I have drop-down lists where I can choose the genre, country, and director, and get a list of movies that meet those three criteria. And the formula is basically an index formula that uses the small if and row functions that basically says if the genre equals C6 and the country equals C7 and the dashboard equals C8, give me the rows that match those three criteria for the movie's name column, and then it will list that name. And if you want to see exactly how this process works, I'll put a link below in the notes to that tutorial that shows how this basic process works. However, if I only wanted to see for example, just the romance movies from the USA, regardless of the director, and I delete that, it generates all blanks. Or if I want to see, for example, all the movies from the US by Fred, regardless of the genre, again, it generates all blanks. And the reason that is, is the three different criteria are multiplied times each other. So what happens is it takes all the criteria, and for example, if this was romance here, and I looked at that first criteria, movie genre equals C6, which is romance, and I hit F9, notice it gives me a series of trues and falses. And it's going to multiply that list of trues and falses times the next criteria times the next, and the results of those ones and zeros multiplying it times the row number to give me the name from the index formula of those that match all three criteria. However, if genre is blank, then every one of the results of the first criteria here, and if I hit F9, will just be, in this case, 100 falses, and multiplying those times the other criteria will again just result in all falses, and therefore I get zero results from my list. So how do we resolve that? Well, the option is to modify the formula like this. And what I've done here is, for each of the criteria, I've nested another if statement that says, if that criteria choice is blank, then just insert a 1. If not, then determine which of the rows equal that criteria. So in this case, where the genre is blank, if I highlight that criteria and hit F9, it gives me a 1. And 1 times the results of the other two criteria will not eliminate those and it will allow the other criteria to determine which rows they meet. And just to see it more explicitly, if I unhide rows 2 and 3 here, I have the two formulas. So you can see the difference between the first criteria. If movie genre equals dashboard C5, as compared to if C5 is blank, then give me a 1. If not, then if movie genre equals dashboard C5. And again, any time these results are blank, it will generate a list based on just those one or two criteria, or in this case, all three. And if they were all blank, I would end up with a list of all the movies because I want a list based on no criteria. And that's how you can do that in Excel. So thanks for watching this video. 
If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so at my website, excel-bytes.com, or at any of the social networks noted below. Thanks a lot, have a great day, and happy excelling.